and welcome back to Who Would Win. I'm late, but I'm still here. Um, so this is what comes to us from uh, Tarkushka uh, Blue. What's the question? Who won a fight, Taskmaster or Red Hood? Now, we know who Red Hood is. He's been pretty heavily featured in recent uh, comic years. I would say Jason Todd was the third or the second. I can't remember if it was him, then... Um, then, uh, not Dick Grayson, who was, oh, wow, uh, him, then, um, wow, I am blanking on the, uh, third one, Tim Blake, that was it, Tim Blake, uh, it, it was him, then Tim Blake, or it will, it, it was, uh, the other way around, but, no, it, it was, it was then Tim Blake, Tim Blake came third, because he's older than Tim Blake, anyway, um, yeah, we know the story of Houston Todd. He was a street, kind of a street kid, didn't have much going for him. Batman took it in. He had a bit of a violent streak, though. Batman kind of tried to rein him in. Then he got kidnapped by the Joker, was killed, but then brought back, and became the Red Hood. As such, he's got all of Batman's training, plus he's got some training from the League of Shadows as well. Uh, and the, He can only use those um, special blades that can just summon in the presence of real evil, which Taskmaster is just a merc. He wouldn't really uh, be able to do that. But he's still a skilled martial artist. He's armed to the teeth with weaponry. Uh, he's got solid body, body armor, not afraid to use uh, firearms. Uh, his helmet is durable enough to take a serious uh, shot from, a, uh, enhanced, well, from an enhanced knife that he had. That I believe, if I'm not mistaken, was being used by Supergirl at the time from that photo Death Battle was using. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, I could be dead wrong on the Supergirl part, but I know it like withstood his um, his own knife, which is in and of itself very uh, very durable, more durable than a standard knife. He we ha he has many different explosives, smoke screens. He's basically he's got all the Bat Robin tech under under his belt, plus uh, firearms. Uh, he is a lot more ruthless and willing to kill compared to Batman, and that is a uh, that is a big thing. That uh, we should know that this this fight would probably be to the death because Red Hood has no issue killing. Uh, that said, that doesn't mean uh, he's infallible by any stretch of the means. He straight out lost to Batman in a fight. Uh, even uh, individuals like Nightwing, uh, Ra's al Ghul, it's just as skilled hand to hand fighters can easily beat him in a fight. He's not a as skilled as he is. He's nowhere near a master martial artist. Uh, and and he's going to be out strategized because he is driven by rage. He well, he not rage per se, but he's driven by revenge mostly, trying to reform himself as the years go on. But he is driven by you know anger, and he's it can be easily exploited uh, emotionally. He does have one ace in the hole, those use of the venom, which is only temporary, but gives him a ten times boost and makes him extremely um, makes him extremely dangerous. <laughs> Taskmaster. I can never remember what Taskmaster's real name, but he is a mutant merc with basically the mutation of uh, of muscle memory. Of uh, not muscle memory per se, but uh, what is the name? Hold on, I'm gonna look up the actual name of this uh, mutation. What it what it does basically, if his mutation even has it's not like my hero where they uh, where the uh, abilities uh, quirks actually have names. Uh, no, Taskmaster. Um, he has the ability to replicate physical skills. That is the, um, uh, it, be it combat or athletic of anyone he observes thanks to his photographic reflexes. Over time, due to growing number of superheroes, he decided to put his skills to better use, become a teacher based on Taskmaster, based Taskmaster Academy to train government agents, villains, heroes, and henchmen alike. Now, I believe this is because he is, in fact, a mutant that with this ability. This is not just some weird, um, ability he has uh artificial enhancement uh primary superhuman power is for okay so may i don't he might not be a mutant he might be a mutate and this might be a uh after injecting himself an experimental super soldier serum his brain capacity began to absorb knowledge instantaneously that's what it is okay so he's not a mutant at least not in traditional he's more like deadpool is a mutate or captain america technically speaking captain america could be considered a mutate uh, because a mutate is different than a mutant. A mutant is someone who's born with their abilities. A mutate would be like Deadpool. Mr. Sinister is actually a mutate. Um, <clears throat> but Deadpool, Mr. Sinister, someone who started human and then gained the abilities later down in the road. By that, by that, uh, definition, technically Cap's a mutate. 
But anyway, yeah, he has photographic reflexes. More or less, he's able to mentally record any movement he's ever seen. Uh, now, this does have limitations. Uh, he's not capable of duplicating a physical feat to the effort so required. For instance, he could copy the Hulk's punch, but not the physical power behind it. Same with speed, all that. He is limited by his own physical abilities. He's unable to copy Deadpool's moves. There's Deadpool's unpredictable nature and fractured mind. Deadpool had defeated him in one-on-one -on -one combat numerous times. Taskmaster was unable to copy the moves of Alex Hayden for some unknown reasons. Uh, who is Alex Hayden? Alex Hayden is Agent X. Okay, uh, there's possibly a number of reasons why that was the case. Uh, hold on a second here. Uh, Taskmaster copies something new. It pushes old memories out of his brain in a form of amnesia. For example, he is only able to retain a total of eight languages. As a result of long-term exposure to enhanced uh, cortisol contained... Freaking ads. I hate these ads. Cortisol contained in the modified super soldier serum. To, uh, his hippocampus, the part of the brain responsible for networking memories and consolidating information for short and long period periods, suffered severe damage, which resulted in Tony having difficulty recalling specific and explicit memories. For example, he can recognize a place or landscape from a photo or painting, but he cannot recall if he actually uh, visited said place. In extreme situations, he even got, forgot who he is what he was doing, or why he was doing it. This also results in him forgetting about people he met, although he can recognize them. Uh, so, while it's a great ability, it is very cumbersome. It, it, it's, it, if he could be very easily overwhelmed with so much information, that could theoretically make him completely brain dead. But he's still a master tactician because of this. He is a master marksman, martial artist, master assassin, assassin, master weapons user, having pretty much every type of weapon you can think of because he's seen so many different superheroes with different weapons, including a Captain America base shield, a knife fight from the, uh, a knife fighting from the, with the Winter Soldier's abilities, a billy club like Daredevil uses, a swordsmanship with multiple weapons, including like, like the Black Knight and the Silver Samurai. Uh, his suit, he, uh, his task suit is designed for uh, optimal levels of prediction. He's been shown to be able to stick to walls, like Spider-Man does. Uh, he must have some special abilities like Spider-Man does in his masks. mask. His, uh, his, or his uh, suit. His mask wears a protective skull mask that also serves for identity concealment. The mask also has technology built into it that allows him to resist telepathic and psychic attacks. Not that it matters. He's an image holographic inducer. Uh, in terms of weapons, he has an energy shield, which is kind of like a Captain America base shield. Uh, but, um, it, it's cr basically made of pure energy. These weapons apparent, uh, apparently had substance even after he let go of them, at least for a short time. His energy claws to mimic Wolverine, energy webs to mimic Spider-Man, the shield to mimic uh, Captain America. He has a katana, bow and trick arrows to mimic Hawkeye, so, uh, another sword, moon-shaped shurikens to mimic Moon Knight, billy glove to mimic Daredevil, firearms, oftentimes a pair of, uh, 45, uh, or, uh, you know, 45 specials. Uh, so, yeah, Taskmaster is actually pretty dope. I I lament what they did to him, her, in Black Widow. I I really didn't like what they ultimately did. And I think a lot of people were like, again, look at this guy right here. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. That's a badass looking dude. That is a bad. That's a guy I want to see in the Marvel Universe. Not a, not the daughter of some Soviet-esque dictator, wannabe dictator, who survived an explosion and was basically turned into a monster by her dad. Who the hell wants that? <laughs> like, I get for, I get for Black Widow's story that I guess made sense, but what's the, what's wrong with having him just a hired hand? Like, seriously, because you made him discount Witcher Soldier without even having a... One of the one of the fun things about Taskmaster is the fact that he is also quippy. He, he's a... He's a... Uh, he's, a um, he's a talker. He, you know, he'll throw out you know, jab, like verbal barbs and stuff like that, just like Deadpool does. Didn't get any of that in the movie, so... Uh, I don't know. That's not what we're talking about, though. So, if these two men in a fight, who would win? Unfortunately, I feel that would be Taskmaster for any of us rooting for Red Hood. Now, the reason for this isn't because Red Hood is not a skilled combatant who has a large amount of tricks and gadgets under his belt. That's not it at all. 
And both these guys are psychologically paired, but in different ways. For Taskmaster, it's memory. For uh, Jason, it's sanity. And sanity is a lot more easily to, easy to exploit in combat than memory is. Add in a holographic projector, he could easily make, easily show an image of the Joker. If he figures out Jason's issue with the Joker, he could easily use that to completely derail him mentally. But beyond that, just taking that out of the equation, Taskmaster is clearly the superior fighter uh, and superior weapon user because he has literally seen the best of his world and can copy it and has copied it. Now, yeah, how where he would stand currently, it all actually really depends on where you get Taskmaster it, Taskmaster in the Marvel Universe. Because there's probably points where he hasn't seen as many uh, of the of uh, the planet's fighters uh, on multiple occasions. So maybe he's weaker later earlier in his career. In fact, almost certainly he'd be weaker earlier in his career. But does that mean that he would be uh, still, would he lose to Jason? I don't think so. And this comes down to the fact that, yeah, Jason has very skilled, and, but even before his abilities, he was already very skilled. So you have someone who could probably already keep up at minimum with Jason, then someone who would be able to copy Jason's movements, and then be able to just counterattack very easily. Not to mention that while Jason does have plenty of like little tricks and tools under his belt, Taskmaster, as we just went over, Anthony Masters is his actual name, has, again, Energy shield, energy claws, energy webbing, energy, another shield, katana, bow and arrow, sword, moon shaped shuriken, billy club, fire rush. Like, he's got plenty under his belt, too, that Jason honestly doesn't have a clear cut answer towards. He doesn't have an answer for the shields, the energy claws, the energy webbing. Uh, I mean, swords are fine. Like, he can definitely handle swords, but the firearms he's perfectly fine against, too, and the billy club, maybe, but moon shaped shuriken. But yeah, I mean, half of his stuff he does not have an answer for it, particularly the energy uh, weapons. So while Jason would certainly put up a solid fight, I think he'd ultimately fall both psychologically and physically to Moon Knight. Moon Knight would just get, it would be the superior to him. Uh, that is just my opinion though. Uh, who do you think would win this fight? Let me know in the comments below, but until then, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. I got to do my what if.